A Henderson family tonight devastated after a suspected drunk driver hits and kills a family member. Good evening and thank you for joining us at 5. I'm LaToya Silman in for Jim Snyder. And I'm Marie Mortera. Two people died in the crash and the Nevada Highway Patrol says a four-year-old child was in the suspect's car. News 3's Antonio Casalon just talked to the daughter of one of the victims. Marie, the daughter of that victim, tells us her mother was headed to Arizona. Unfortunately, the car broke down. Police say the suspected drug driver plowed into the car with three people in it. I'm devastated. I'm pretty heartbroken. Um, I feel kind of empty towards it, really angry. Shayna Bingham mourns the loss of her mother, 49-year-old Jennifer Taylor. Nevada Highway Patrol troopers say yesterday morning on the I-11 south of Las Vegas, Taylor's car experienced mechanical problems. Taylor and two other friends parked the car on the I-11 emergency shoulder. Police say a short time later, 39-year-old New Mexico resident Antonio Romulado Macedo lost control of his BMW. The BMW plowed into Taylor's broken down car, killing the 49-year-old along with her friend. The vehicle veered off onto the side of the road and smashed the left side of the back end and crushed it. NHP troopers say Romulado Macedo was driving his BMW with a four-year-old child restrained in the back seat when the crash happened. The child was taken to the hospital and survived the high-impact collision. That's crazy to me. It's crazy that anyone would get behind the wheel, but at the same time, why on earth would you have your child in that car? This accident is the second fatal crash to occur along this new stretch of the I-11 that opened less than a month ago. It seems like there's been a lot of problems in that freeway for it just opening up. Bingham says her mother was headed to Phoenix with her two friends. She's a very strong woman. Um, she taught me a lot. Um, she's very giving. Romualdo Macedo is now at the Clark County Jail facing two fatal DUI and child endangerment charges. Taylor's family hopes they get justice for Jennifer. Definitely jail for a long time, and I hope he realizes what he did wrong because it's really messed up that a lot of other people got to suffer due to his stupid decisions. Romualdo Macedo will appear before a judge tomorrow morning. As for the a man who uh, died in that crash, the coroner still has not released his name. Reporting live, Antonio Castellan, News 3. Antonio, thank you.